the day before I'm going to be flying to Malaga and I just wanted to record a little bit of a backstory um, why I'm taking this trip, who I am, because this is my first ever, uh, not my first ever vlog, I've vlogged before on a Dutch YouTube channel, so I'm not really new to this, but I'm kind of new to this, uh, the vlog, the travel vlog kind of thing. So I'm really excited to be vlogging. My name is Amber, nice to meet you. Really excited that you are coming along on this trip. I'm going to split this trip, uh, the videos of the trip up in, I think, I'm thinking three parts, but I'm not sure yet, so you'll see. So if you want to see those parts as well and you like this one, maybe uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'm taking my first ever solo trip, so that's why I wanted to document it to look back on, also for my friends and family to see. And you guys also were really excited over on Instagram, which made me really happy. So I'm feeling a little bit nervous about the whole travel part of it because I'm flying around uh, 5 a.m. in the morning so I'll have to be at the airport at 2 a.m. which is really early so I'm going to be really tired as well and I can only like uh, get into my apartment at 4 p.m. so we'll see how that goes I'm thinking of um, staying at a park going to a museum something like that I'm also a little bit afraid of flying so but I have like my, my tools of meditation, breath work, whatever. So I think I'll manage. I'll bring you along in the journey. I'm really excited to go. I've not been traveling for a long time. And I've really been needing this trip. You know, the last few years were chaos for a lot of us. I've also had some stuff happen uh, in the last few months. So this is like a very welcome break from stuff at home <laughs> so i'm really happy to just go somewhere and explore and for things to be like a different environment is all, always good uh, i love the feeling of it and i'm just really excited to explore so see you at the airport at 2 a.m <laughs> my luggage at the apartment so that's around 12 ish and it's now only 10 something I'm not really sure I'm quite tired as I woke up at half past one tonight so I'm just gonna chill for a little bit um, the flight was surprisingly calming I really enjoyed I had the window seat so that helped a lot and I just stared out the windows, slept a little, so that went really well. I'm very surprised at how well it went. And yeah, it just all went very well. I feel safe, I feel confident, so that's good. And now it's just, I'm gonna read a little bit, I'm just gonna relax. And then head to the apartment, so I'll see you there. There's something about travel that makes you feel so small in this big world. But there's so much to learn and experience still. But at the same time it makes me feel on top of the world, independent and safe. Is this freedom? I love new experiences. Wandering around these unfamiliar streets and the beauty around me 
made me forget about the lack of sleep. <laughs> However, I did find comfort in my Starbucks, something that was familiar. Because it's not wrong to find some comfort when trying something new. I really love this museum. It's called the Carmen Tyson Museum. It was a bit expensive, but I really enjoyed my time there. Fun fact about me, I'm an artist myself, so I really love things like this. I spent a lot of time wandering the streets. I was afraid I was lost at some point, but then I saw my lucky number, number 33, which is a sign for me that I'm on the right path, which I was. The apartment was like one minute away. So I made it to the apartment, I'm here and I try to sleep a little bit but I didn't really feel good. So I just showered, got all the travel off me um, and now I'm going to do some grocery shopping because I have my own kitchen at this apartment which is really nice. I intended to go grocery shopping after I visited the museum, but there is a thing called siesta here in Spain, which is pretty dumb because I knew there was siesta, but the grocery shops, the supermercados, are closed. Um, and so they just opened, so I'm gonna go get some food i'm gonna eat in tonight just because i don't want to do anything else <laughs> just relax and i'm gonna give you a quick room tour apartment tour it feels really surreal to be in the big apartment by myself it's the first time so it's like am i allowed to be here is it all mine it's so big it's beautiful it's it's amazing. I'm really happy, but I'm also really tired, so I'm not really thinking straight. So let's do the room tour, supermarket, food, sleep. That's the plan. So behind me is the front door, and this is what I'm seeing right now. Since there is this cute bench, which is not really comfortable, but it looks cute. And then here... Ta-da! We've got the kitchen, which is freaking huge. This is like the living space, which are, it does have a really comfy couch. This one is really comfy. I just laid on it for a few minutes. And it's uh, approved. Then we have the TV. I'm also trying to get the Wi-Fi wi 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 to work, but it's not really working, so... I have to figure that out. Then when you walk through this little corridor, you have this gorgeous blue bathroom. I cannot really zoom out anymore. Hello. Okay, so that's the bathroom. Then we go to the bedroom, which is gorgeous as well. Already put my stuff there and you've got a little mirror hello and that's it so it's bigger than i expected there were different types of apartments uh, which all kind of look the same they all have a kitchen they all have everything that i have they all look at it a little bit different look how cozy okay so you can tell that i'm excited <laughs>
this point it was kind of sinking in that I was really here by myself. I did this, I was in Spain and I was just really happy about making the decision and seeing the vision and actually making it come true. My intention with this trip was to pause and reset and I'm so happy that I decided to make space for that by taking this trip. to go do things, see things now that I'm here, but I feel like I don't really want to do that, so just writing about how I really feel made me realize that I just want to stay in for a little bit. It's almost 12 o'clock, so I'm just gonna eat lunch here. Uh, I bought some salads yes yesterday, so that's fine. Um, just slowing down to really appreciate that I'm here and think of what I want to do next instead of just pushing myself to do things that I don't really feel like I want to do. Um, and I also really love my oracle cards and the ones that I got were uh, love is important, accept love and pause, um, which is kind of like self-love, tuning into what it is that I really need, giving myself some love and taking it slow, so pause, which were really matching the energy. I always love when that happens. So. I'm gonna just slow down, eat some salad, put on some music, maybe dance a little bit. That always helps me get back to myself, back into my body. So I'll keep you updated on what we're gonna do today, but first some me time just sinking in, let it, letting it all sink in and just be present for now. Valencianas and they come in a pack of two so I'm gonna bring these as well when I'm going out and they're like regular cake but a little more a bit more sour and there is like sugar on top not really good for you but I've decided to stay in until after the siesta which is around five and then I'm gonna go to the beach area, get some dinner there, so see you then. Stop 
I'm in the sea, which was really scary because I had to leave my bag. But now I'm heading back to the apartment. It was really amazing. And I'm really glad that I went out in the evening. Muchos sueños para que no te olvides Nadando en tus aguas y tu alma decides Mojadita en mis 